Hello everybody, hope you are doing well. Today we're gonna to be starting a brand new series in Carding Superstars. This is gonna be a 10 race series and yes, there will be playoffs. Basically there's gonna be five regular season races, then a round of seven, a round of five, and a round of three, racing for the title. And here we go, they're our only qualifying chance and this is one of the few chances to get an extra bonus point. From here on, I think the uh, within races, you get a point for a fast lap but the rest of it's just based on finishing order. And with the playoffs, just like in NASCAR, if you win, you clinch your way in, and you get five bonus points. So those bonus points will carry over throughout the entire playoffs as uh, the points reset round the round. They're very valuable. Getting a win is major, because it helps uh, give you more of a shot to advance. Our one and only qualifying effort, we qualify P4. Herb Bush out front, Busta Wallace, Runny Hamlet. Running up in front of us, plant-based spot, boss bat stain, Devin Aardvark, Alice Bow Wow, Zoe Gotta Go, Topher Ring, 8-Ball Bot, and Pizza Bot all joining us for this one. So with there being no strategy really in this game in terms of pits or damage or whatever, to make it a little bit more spicy, this is the only race that is going to have qualifying. The rest will be hopefully reverse grid if it works the way I think it's going to. And here we are, first race of the KSBS. Oh, Runny Hamlet already getting a corner cut, and my goodness, Busta Wallace <laughs> sends her bush on the inside of the uh, CCD there. And her bush having some troubles. There, you might work their way through the field again, though, if they're quick. And we're trying to get around Busta Wallace here. It's at 80% draft. I toned that down just a bit, just so if someone does fall out of the, out of the line, they're not just gone forever. Because again, there's no pit strategy to really recover, or like you can't stretch tires or anything. Like there's no way to really recover. But I figured if there's less draft, maybe they have more of a shot if everyone else is making mistakes up front. And we get underneath Busta Wallace. And we should have the pass. I lost a little momentum going through there, but we fit right in front of their cart and we're to the lead. We are running on Masters. I wasn't sure if I should do Masters or Superstar. I'm still kind of learning where the AI is at in terms of my skill level. When the, f the game first came out, we were playing it a lot, and I felt like I could have probably raced with Superstar there. But uh, in testing after a little bit of a break here, it seemed like Master was my, my way to go, especially if I'm doing commentary. Uh, boss Batstain moves up into second, plant-based spot following him. Runny Hamlet's recovered. Oh, from that early corner cut. And I got the inside line. Oh, Runny Hamlet. Oh, we're three wide. Her bush has come back. I can't, I can't turn off of them. Who is that? Is that look? Oh, no. What is going on? We've been wrecked. Oh, put into the wall. So we got to go. What are you doing? I couldn't, I couldn't turn off of them. No, I guess no one could really turn, so we all went right into the wall. That might have mixed things up. Busta Wall is still out front. Oh, here we go. I almost forgot. We have the full leaderboard. I love it. So uh, we got a little under eight minutes still to recover. Gave Zoe got to go a little bit of a thank you very much there as we went by. Herb Bush. Oh, man. What a poor Herb Bush. Qualifies on pole. Gets shoved into the corner cut, so it has to pay a penalty. And then works their way towards the front again just to run into a big wreck out of turn one. And is now back here in 10th. But they might still be able to recover if they're a quick cart. There's no damage to deal with or anything. And if you haven't caught on yet, yes, I have been. I, I figured out the modding. I figured out how to get a custom AI roster in here. So that's, I mean, this series probably would have been out a little quicker if it, I mean, it took a little bit of figuring out with tired eyes after work and all that stuff, but I'm happy I did it. I, I'm glad that we got some, uh, some fun names out here. Not, I really enjoy the AI, I mean, that we got to know so well from Circuit Superstars, but since a lot of them are similarly named, I figured this is a good time to mix it up anyway. All right, we're working through the field again. We got some pace. We got Topher Ring up ahead of us. So yeah, I get, and with the reverse grid, I figured Master would be good too because 
I got to work through the field. They got to work through the field. It, we'll see how it goes this season. Right now, I mean, we're running P7. It's not like we're, we're winning. And the rest of the races, we should have to hopefully battle from the rear if we're doing well in the points. I got to roll through there a little better. Herb Bush following us through the field. Plant-based bot has taken the lead. Oh, no, they're battling with Busta Wallace. Oh, Herb Bush peeking their nose in a little bit. We get the toe for ring. Can you guess all who, who all these drivers are? Let me know in the comments who you think everybody is. We got Alice Bow Wow up in front of us here. The only thing I'm a little disappointed with uh, in terms of the, the AI customization is it would have been cool to also, um, you know, select their attributes. Well, I mean, I don't know how many attributes there are. That's not something we visually get to see because they, they kind of get randomly applied each uh, new, new tournament that you make. Or if we could just adjust which one's the fast one it would be kind of cool. Let's see if we can get a move on Alice Bow Wow here. And dive. We're going to be a little slow coming out of the turn, but we get the pass done. They're stuck behind us. And we got to roll through this turn. Don't hit that brake. There we go. Now Herb Bush got to work their way through the 48. And we're going to try to catch up to Runny Hamlet. Oh, did not make that turn that well. Herb Bush makes quick work of Alice Bow Wow. It seems like Herb Bush is going to be the... Uh, one of the ones to beat this season, judging by their pace so far. But yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're excited about this series. I am. I, uh, I've i been wanting to do something since this came out and was just kind of, yeah, waiting on the custom AI for me to figure that out. And we are rocking and rolling now. 10 race series, probably have a few races per episode because they're only 10 minutes long. It's going to be interesting seeing how the playoffs work. <laughs> there was always a lot of drama in the... We did a NASCAR season in Circuit Superstars because they had a stock car in that game. And I think that was probably one of my favorite seasons. I thought that was pretty fun. But there was a lot of drama in terms of like pit stops and stuff like that in that race or in that series. The Busta Wall is still holding up front. I kind of looked at the standings and almost drove off the road. Tracks rubbering up now. Looks like the leaders are pretty separated. I was kind of hoping they'd still be battling each other. But I think that big wreck where we all went into the tire barrier kind of jumbled up the field a little bit. So I don't know if uh, particularly... Well, it seems like Busta Wallace might be quick as well as plant-based, but... I don't know if Boss Bast Batstain is... Uh, as quick as P3, but they've worked their way up and avoided all the wrecks and everything. I know Runny Hamlet qualified well. Oh yeah, this is Carning Superstars, if you don't know it. It's still in early access. It was the next game by the Circuit Superstars devs, Original Fire Games. They're releasing it on their own. About the the whole publishing thing, and uh, right now it's only on Steam and PC. But uh, hopefully a, a longish life cycle ahead as they add things and are able to work on things. I'm excited to see whenever the next big update is and what that would hold. We are working our way up to Runny Hamlet. See if we can maybe get on a podium here. Just over two minutes left. We kind of left her bush behind. Oh, no. We got a corner cut. Come on. Go, 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 go. We had just gotten into the draft of Runny Hamlet. There's actually a few uh, custom drivers that aren't did not make it. I think you have to make like 13 or 14 because... It only there's only uh, 11 AI drivers since you take up one of the 12 spots and sometimes they get switched in and out by the game randomly. So I think I have two more names yet to be released that I created. 
Oh! Some contact. Rennie Hamlet and Boss uh, Boss Batstain getting into it. And IRL ending carding superstars. Oh! Boss Batstain sends Rennie Hamlet in the next corner. Oh my goodness. The AI going at it. Who would have... <laughs> What are the chances that they are, they end up having a rivalry in this game? Oh my goodness. All right. I know you two are dancing, but we really got to get moving. There's going to be one lap left, maybe? I'm not sure how the time works. If it's going to give us one lap next time by or or what? Or if, it, if it's at zero, that's when you end. We got under 30 seconds left, 25 seconds left. Come on. Let's get Bob Bat... Bob, I can't say his name. Boss Batstain. Drag race him. Drag race. Okay, final lap. Oh! Oh, he made contact with our right rear. And sent themselves... Oh, that's unfortunate. What a race for Boss Batstain, too. And they fall to P6 on the final lap. Runny Hamlet's now working on us. And I think we're in the clear. So Busta Wallace gets the first win of the season. Plant base spot. Take it up P2 and we take up the podium spot in P3. Busta Wallace automatically advances to the playoffs with that victory. All right. Next race is at Maple Ridge. I highly prefer Maple Ridge reverse, but we'll see that in the playoffs. I'm not as, as great <laughs> in this direction. And good. It's working the way I want. So no more qualifying. I was worried if we did that, the races would kind of get boring without pit stops and so on, like the leaders would just run away. So now we have potentially mass chaos as the leaders try to work their way through the slower carts. And already, we had a few hit the, uh, oh my goodness, yeah, we got wrecking going on. So we're getting some free spots as the leaders work their way through. Poor boss Batstain, another corner cut, unfortunately, gets caught up in a wreck. Right at the start of the race, Zoe gotta go, gets sense a little and they gotta recover man her bush is I'm sorry Zoe I'm so sorry her bush is a man, man with a mission gets around pizza bot oh her bush gets sent pizza bot want none of it and Busta Wallace jumps to the lead oh my goodness Nine slices. And Pizza Bot don't got any to give. All right, Runny Hamlet jumps in front of us. I think the 80% draft maybe was a good call because it, it makes a little bit of a... Like, you can still kind of gain and keep up as long as you're hitting your marks, even for the AI. Oh, poor Herb Bush. They just keep getting sent. Alice Bowwell getting a little aggressive now. I don't know what I was doing there. Zoe Gotta Go has gone all the way to the back of the field in 12th. Oh, yeah, we got Kevin Aardvark, or Devin Aardvark, right behind us. Oh, tried sending it in on Pizza Bot. Denny Hamlet gets a little wide. We try to take advantage. Now, Devin Aardvark. Oh, they get caught up in traffic back there. What the heck? The rest of the field came out of nowhere now. I don't know if we're all slowing them up or the, those in front of us are. Busta Wallace and Alice Bow Wow battling it out front. Her bush seems to have slowed down pace just a little bit. And we cannot get around Pizza Bot. Oh, we kind of send them, but the Denny... Ah! Runny Hamlet. Excuse me. It's going to be so hard not to say the names. Runny Hamlet. Try to take advantage. We get back around him, and now our, our sights are on her bush. So a pretty chaotic first few laps. That's what the reverse grid's going to do for you. And I think it's going to take a little longer for the field to filter through on some other tracks. Like, this one was a little tough. Like, turn one was just so immediate. I think it caused a little bit more chaos than we might see in some other places. Oh, I took that one just awfully. And we already have one driver locked into the playoffs. That's Busta Wallace with the win in week one. 
and they are currently leading this race as well. And we're going to try to get a clean pass, hopefully, on her bush. I don't really want to just send the AI. That's, that's no fun. I mean, sometimes we're going to accidentally get into them. I mean, I'll get them to them if they deserve it. <laughs> sometimes they do. Lamp Base Bot says hello. They've worked their way up through the field now. They were P2 last race. And I think this is... Oh, I pulled out. No, I... Oh, no. Get going, get going. I didn't want to send them. And I tried to b the back out of that. And it, it just... I ended up getting into the uh, corner cut. It's all good. We got some time to recover. Six minutes left. What a beautiful little course here with the, uh, the maple trees and fall colors and everything. And a mountain range behind the tree line. All right, now we got some work to do. I don't know if we have... Oh, man, the, the wind in us. Boss Batstains has worked their way back up, too. They're battling with uh, Devin Ardvark. Oh, All right, the field is pretty tight behind us. Other than Zoe, uh, gotta go. Oh, oh no. Oh, we are a sitting duck right now. We lost all that momentum. Where'd eight ball come from? I don't even see them on the leaderboard there. We messed up Devin Ardvark. I don't know, eight ball. I have no time for you. Yeah, if you, if you don't join our live streams, we have an eight ball bot where you can ask questions in chat. They are very sassy. Definitely come by and check them out at some point. Okay, let's get some clean laps here. Busta Wall, Stealth Front, Alice Bow Wow, Plant Based Bot, Herb Bush, Runny Hamlet. Looks like we do have a battle for the lead between those two. Yeah, it looks like we got a few battles in front of us, which will be good because it should slow them down then. Although they are getting draft from each other now. This is one of those times that clean air is not the answer. <laughs> oh, I think we almost saw Devin Ardvark get spun back there, but they held on to it. Topher Ring getting in the mix with Bo Boss Batstain and Ardvark. We have a little bit of a gap back to them now. Just trying to work our way up. I can't tell if we are getting closer or not. There's no relatives, really. I think so. Come on, roll the corner. Roll the corner. Alright, I think it's a three-way battle in front of us now. That's even better. Come on, miss each other up. Kicking up all kinds of dirt and everything as they go around the corners. Oh, someone hit something. We got elbows being thrown all around this track, I think. What do you say? What do you say? Yeah. Yeah, man. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we're working our way up to her bush. Her bush seems to just be thrown around <laughs> in this league. They, I, this whole race, they've just been being sent. I think last race, too. It's just been nonstop. They just cannot. No one will stay off their bumper. Come on. Let's make a run. We are definitely getting closer. Uh, two minutes, 22 seconds left. We're, we're working our way. We might make a run at at least a place. Get in the top five. That would be nice. Keep that, that points uh, total going for the playoffs. We started off our season nice and strong with the, the podium, the P3, and race number one. 
But I am not entirely certain if we're going to pull off a win here in this regular season or not. There are some tracks that I'm pretty confident we should run well at, like Sugar Hill and so on, but... Yeah, we'll see. Come on, get back to us. Oh man, someone just nailed the wall back there. We've put a nice gap between us and those behind us at least. Minute 30 left. Just a few more laps. And we're running out of time. Oh, they put a lot of time on us there. That didn't work out well for us. Come on. I'm like pressing the trigger down as hard as possible, even though it doesn't help any. Like during iRacing races when you're just gripping the wheel and when you're finally done, you can't even feel your hands. Which isn't good, by the way. <laughs> Don't do that. You will not, you will not likely drive well if you're, if you're gripping it that hard. Come on. It, oh, I messed up that turn. We keep getting little gains here and there. It's just we can't keep consistent enough. And I think we're only really gaining on them when they're battling. All right, this is going to be the last lap coming up, I think. Yep. All right, final lap. Come on, mess each other up. Get a corner cut. Make some desperation moves. Plant-based bot, I don't know when it happened. I just realized they took over the lead. The plant-based bot trying to punch their ticket to the playoffs. I don't know if they had another lap to go. No, they they finished. All right, here we go. P6. I'll take it. Plant-based bot, Busta Wallace, and Alice Bow Wow. Your top three. Alice Bow Wow with the fastest lap. That's a point extra to them. And here's the uh, the points right now. Plant Based and Busta Wallace both have auto advanced and the top seven are moving on to the playoffs. All right, that's gonna do it for today's initial episode of the series. Hope you are excited about it. Hope you enjoyed the races today. Let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed. There's three more left in the regular season. Probably get those done next time. And then uh, after that, it'll be the playoffs. Let's see if we can make it. Who's gonna be in the playoffs? And until next time, peace out.